everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have got a great card for you today. It's pretty easy. It features the Queen Bee bundle from the spring, let's see, what is it? 2023 spring mini catalog from Stampin' Up. Um, on the end side, I am using the Something Fancy uh, stamp set, also from the same catalog. Uh, the paper that I'm using right here is actually called Hues of Happiness. I love this color combination, the pinks and the yellows. Um, and this paper is retiring. Um, it's in our current annual catalog. It'll be gone when that catalog retires at the end of April. Um, and as of right now, it's on low inventory, which I think means once it's gone, it's gone. So if you like this paper, make sure you get it. I just ordered an extra pack for myself. Okay, let's start making our B first. We're gonna stamp this B on basic white in Daffodil Delight. I have stamped this B many times in multiple colors, and I can't tell which color I like the best. Maybe just black, but it's fun in yellow too. So that's Daffodil Delight. We're gonna cut that out with the coordinating die, and I want to caution you when you, when you cut this out to be really careful about your placement. Um, those little legs, are kind of tricky so you want to get your die and first I like to line up this part up here get that and then look down at the legs make sure I've got them you can kind of see them in that uh, those little holes there and then I just like to take a piece of post-it tape see if I can do it without moving it and set that right there. Post-it tape is just from Amazon. It's like the stickiness of post-it notes. So if you don't have it, you could use a post-it note as well. All right, there's our B. Now, ahead of time, I have already cut out the little wings from vellum, and I'm just gonna use a glue dot to stick these wings down right there. And then ahead of time, I have also cut out this itty bitty heart there's a tiny tiny heart die Can you see that in uh this set it's so tiny so you want to get your take your pick tool and put a tiny little dot right there tiny 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 and set this down right on there and then you can wiggle it around get it perfectly placed all right good the other thing that i cut out ahead of time was a white little filigree, a branch, I don't know what to call it. Um, and we're gonna glue that down. Now, before we do that, we're gonna stamp this branch in Melon Mambo. And this is Melon Mambo cardstock. And I wanna kind of eyeball where this paper is gonna go so that I can kind of see, whoops, we've got a rogue flower hanging out, um, where I wanna stamp it. So right about here, a little bit right of center. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp that. And I'm actually gonna stamp off on grid paper, which I did not grab, so here we go. Stamp off on your grid paper, and then I'm gonna stamp that right there, okay? You stamp off so that your uh, image isn't too dark. Kinda of want it to blend into the background. Now I'm gonna take my Melon Mambo Stampin' Blend Dark and flick on some ink, and now we can add our paper all right so we'll put that there see how that little branch is just kind of coming out from the side of the dsp all right so now let's add this and i'm going to use a little bit of glue this would probably be a good candidate for our adhesive sheets um, but i didn't do that so let's just be real careful with our glue and I'm gonna put that right over that branch like that. Now, if you, if you place your dimensionals correctly, just right, they will hold down. See, so if we put it on that wing right there, it will also hold down that piece. Okay, so put some dimensionals on the back and we'll put him right there. All right, now, curve up his wings just a little bit there we go all right now I have a basic white card base 
And we're going to get some dimensionals. Put those right there. Melon Mambo card base like that. And I'm going to add some of these adhesive back sequins. This has been probably my favorite embellishment from the spring catalog. I have used these so many times. They're really great. They go with lots of things. So I'm going to put five. I like to do odd numbers when I do my embellishments. There we go. So now the front is done. I needed to put the birthday sentiment in on the inside or on the card, but I didn't want to take up, I didn't want to cover up anything. So I decided to take a four by five and a fourth inch piece of basic white, and we're just going to stamp it on that. Sometimes the sentiment can go on the inside. And I'm going to just stamp it right there in Melon Mambo. And then I'm going to grab back my Daffodil Delight and my little B, and we'll just put that right up there. All right. Now, get your regular adhesive and stick that right on inside and you've got a pretty quick card. It's not a birthday card. Here's to beautiful beginnings and happily ever afters. A wedding card. Man, we're coming up on wedding season. Now I've got two of them. Perfect. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. I've got several other uh, Queen Bee Projects. If you're looking for inspiration, click the link here on YouTube to go over to my blog. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.